So today I get to talk to you about this absolute unit of a model called Kokoro ADM. Kokoro is a state-of-the-art text-to-speech model or TTS model, which is designed as a lightweight decoder-only system, which we'll dive a lot into, with just 80 million parameters. Despite its relatively small size, Kokoro achieves remarkable naturalness, expressiveness by leveraging innovations from Style TTS2 and ISTF TNet, which are two research papers which I link in this uh, collab notebook, to advanced frameworks that enable high quality speech synthesis while maintaining efficiency. By integrating style diffusion, which is not diffusion, which we'll talk about too, adversarial training with speech language models or SLMs, and inverse short time Fourier transforms, which we'll talk about as well, Kokoro overcomes many limitations of traditional TTS models, including the need for large parameter counts and extensive training data. That's a very important part of this upfront, right? And I want to highlight that uh, significantly. So when it comes to like TTS models and um, image generation, et cetera, I'm like, I generally don't play around with them a lot because they're huge. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Like I don't play around with them because they're not fun. They could be fun to play around with. They're just, they're big, they're massive. Uh, the diffusion models, like your typical diffusion model, like your small model, like a small diffusion model is running like, like, say 5 billion to 7 billion parameters and then a decent one is like 13 billion parameters which is like uh it's just outside of consumer hardware <laughs> there's no bottom line around that right and you can't quantize it and so uh with this with uh kokoro it's 80 million parameters that's what caught my eye right like like uh less than 100 million parameters and then so how do they do it uh they do some very significant tweaks to the transformer architecture and then so to say that this is a decoder only transformer is a massive disservice to what this is doing they, they take a decoder only transformer architecture and they re-engineer it from the ground up and they utilize two research papers that are uh these two research papers that they utilize aren't new they came out in like 2022 um and then so kokoro is built using a decoder only transform architecture but it's enhanced by components from these two research papers the style tts2 and istft net to improve its efficiency and quality and then they take a method from both of these papers, right? So from the style TTS2 paper, they take a style diffusion and adversarial training. So Kokoro inherits the style TTS2's approach of treating speech styles as latent variables sampled using a diffusion process. This allows Kokoro to generate expressive and diverse speech without requiring a reference speech sample. Style diffusion. Instead of generating speech deterministically, the model samples a style vector conditioned on the input text, ensuring variability and expressiveness. Adversarial training with large language models or SLMs. The model uses WaveLM as a discriminator to enhance speech naturalness and transfer knowledge from pre-trained speech models. So it's distillation plus um, adversarial training. End-to-end -end training, unlike older TTS models that rely on separate vocoding steps, Kokoro is optimized for direct waveform synthesis through adversarial training, which they get into with their second method, right? But so that style diffusion is the important part to talk about within this. Uh, the best way that I can reference and, and, and give you a frame of reference for this style diffusion is it's interesting, right? Because the model uses no diffusion, which is why it's only 80 million parameters. If you use, utilize diff diffusion, you'd be in the billions of parameters. And, but so um, diffusion, like when we talk about diffusion, we're talking about a digital process in, in this instance, right? And in reverse diffusion, when we're talking about like a, a neural network or, or a um, image generation model, or a typical text speech model, et cetera, it's a digital process. So we can say it's a simulated diffusion, right? Like it's not actual diffusion if you want to put it within that sense. And then this is a, this style diffusion is a step removed from that because you're um, simulating diffusion, but of the vector itself. So it's like a, a simulation of a simulation removed from the simulation that's only simulating one part of the simulation. Uh, massive, <laughs> that kind of mind blowing uh, as to how that is set up, but that's kind of like what it's doing uh, within that. And so it's super cool. Um, that they 
are able to utilize that and it works. And then, so that's method one. And then the method two is this IS, ISTFT net, which is their fast and light uh, weight. That's the vocoder, that's <laughs> what they call it. And then so, uh, Kokoro adopts ISTFT net as its vocoder, replacing conventional convolutional mel spectrogram based vocoders. The key advantage of this approach is includes their inverse short time Fourier transform, this method for efficient synthesis. So instead of treating a Form generation as a black box, box learning problem. This method explicitly reconstructs the phase and magnitude spectrograms, reducing the computational burden. It reduces the frequency dimension progressively before applying the method, making it significantly faster than con conventional hi fi GAN style vocoders, and it allows for improved speech quality. By utilizing st structured transformations, this method and framework ensures that the speech quality is maintained despite the reduced parameter count. So let's talk about this. So uh, this model is not training on like speech. It's not training on the actual words. It's not training on like uh, the words being converted to binary. It's being tra uh, trained on Fourier waves um, and then uh, for like, so like uh, sound waves. Yeah. And so uh, very specifically, um, this model is being, um, there's a method for uh, transforming those sound waves um, that this model is using, um, this inverse short time Fourier transform, ISTFT, uh, which is a um, more mathematically complex, and um, it does a lot more than your typical Fourier transform. Um, and so it allows um, for these outputs that you're getting, and I'll show you the outputs. Like the, the reason why I'm showcasing this model is not just because it's 80 million parameters, it's 80 million parameters, and um, so I, I pay for, and I have paid for like a TTS model, right? Because I want like the best. Like um, this is outperforming my paid models. Like flat out, like like I have people like like they're like ah uh, like I, the the voice quality is okay on the paid ones. Like this is, I'll show you the the voice quality here at the end. Like it, it's, I mean, it's beyond comparison, <laughs> and it's eighty million parameters, which is why I'm showcasing this all. So how the model works, it's uh, very straightforward, right? So it's a streamlined pipeline, um, and then so it utilizes text encoding, encoding that style diffusion process for the sampling process that I mentioned. Um, and then it's all like, um, it's a lot of this simulation, right? So you have this uh, duration and Prasadi prediction, which is like that, that simulation process, uh, and then the waveform generation utilizing that method that they utilize with the second paper. And then so, 80 million parameters. It's utilizing this kind of like this unique method of, of like um, uh, simulated diffusion, <laughs> uh, unique method for the Fourier transform, uh, which is how they're doing it, uh, and then adversarial training. So these are kind of like the four elements that they're using, right? So decoder only transformer uh, model that they, they like uh, engineer to heck. Uh, and then uh, this kind of like uh, method that's not diff that's diffusion but not diffusion, <laughs> and, and then uh, their uh, oops sorry, uh, and the waveform uh, transform method, um, and then the adversarial training, um, and then so performance. Uh, let me just show like uh, rather than talk about performance, let me just show you one of these. I'll leave a link to a, a full video that I made utilizing this model um, at, at the end of this video um, or in the description of this video. Um, and but so to install this, right? So that gets us to the code. It's very simplistic. So it's you just uh, pip install this Kokoro package. I'm going to note this here. <laughs> so so I, and I would note it because I noted it for myself, and I'm going to highlight it. Like this package takes an abnormally long time to install for. Um, the what it is like this package doesn't like these two like loading these don't install the model itself and it takes like two and a half minutes to load these I think I, I, I would uh, be hesitant to run this package locally because like I don't like I mean I'm assuming that it's like maybe like there's a I, I don't know what's going on behind there right like I'm not gonna make any claims <laughs> like uh, it takes a long time to load the package which makes me uh, hesitant to run this locally but I mean this like there's nothing else like this on the planet that currently exists so this is the package that you get right um, and then so uh, 
once the package is loaded, then it loads the model, and the, the model loads a lot faster than the package. Uh, model loads like in, in uh, like 30 seconds, right? And and the model is is about like 500 megs. So I'm just like, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's loading a lot of data in that package. Uh, and then, but so it's very straightforward. Once you initialize the pipeline, you can choose different languages, right? So you can, uh, it's American, English, Japanese. This is a, um, it's a Japanese model. So Kokoro is Japanese. Um, and then Mandarin are the three languages. Uh, and then you have the, the text. I just, you know, have a text for a video that I wanted to create anyway. So I just put my text in here. And then you can have different voices. You change the voices here. Um, so they have it like AF heart. There's not a good place uh, that they have at the moment that I've found where they document all of this, right? Like what are all of the voices? I'm not 100% sure. If you go to the Hugging Face repo, they have more information about the model here, uh, which I have this linked in the collab as well, but it doesn't give you like all of the, it's not, um, they, don't, they don't have a, um, uh, they they uh, they have like so you have to go through like individual documentation here and then go through they don't have like a full documentation site all the documentations on hugging face uh, so it, it makes it hard uh, and then here you can go through and then here's where you get all of the different models right oh and you can see uh, so this is cool so they do have rankings um, for the different models and it makes sense that they're default into AF hard because that model is uh, that that voice is uh, spectacular like okay that I I see why that gets an A and it's a deserved A. Like uh, the, the voice is awesome. Um, but so uh, as you can see, it loads through here and then it goes through. Uh, it takes time, right? Like, so uh, I'm running this on free co collab. If I ran this on um, utilizing GPU, I would assume that this would cut the time that it took all of this to run by about a quarter, uh, or I'd I, so I, like cut it down to like a quarter of what it took. So it took me like package load, model load, and uh, doing all of this processing like 12 and a half minutes. So I like you could, I'm ass my assumption is, is that if I ran this via GPU, it would be four minutes, but that's the reason why I'm not running any of this live right because it's like 12 minutes just to uh run and churn and, and go through all of this um but uh so that's the one downside is is that you want to like you sit, let it sit back and run and i would only run it in collab just i mean i'm just that's my honest opinion do whatever you want right but uh i'd only run it in collab and and um let it run in the background uh but it, this is amazing like this i can't uh speak to this enough um and i also give you the link to the two research papers that they utilize if you want to dive into their methods and again these are older papers right like uh so uh, this one's from uh, june 2023 this one's from march 2022 uh and then it's going through and just picking through these methods right like my assumption at this point is that a lot of these methods have already been discovered like it's just a, a your time is better spent going through these papers on like these like levels than going through and trying to generate new papers at this point that's uh, in a lot of instances that's my opinion of these things um and then i think this model highlights it right so here it is kokoro adm this is i mean literally i'm using this for anything tts related <laughs> moving forward uh it, it's I, i'm canceling my paid TTS subscriptions. Uh, this is better um, and it's free <laughs> and it's open source uh, and it's everything that I've ever wanted. And it, you could literally run it on your cell phone. Like, I, I mean, uh, I, like so, I, the last thing I'll, I'll point to and I'll highlight within this is like like when I am I'm bearish on. Um, AI as an investment tool and an investment mechanism overall. Like this is why, right? Like there's so much volatility in it. I treat it like Bitcoin or like a uh, crypto, right? Like it's there's just too much volatility <laughs> for me. Like I'm I'm a Warren Buffett. I want to like I'm 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 old school, uh, and then so. Uh, if there's a lot of volatility, there's a lot of, of play, like that's not the market that I want to operate within. Uh, and within this, uh, like, uh, why would I invest in, in you know, like uh, uh, the today's technology, like a diffu in this instance, I'd be investing in diffusion, right? Like if I went all in on, on like, let's say, um, I'm like Suno, Udio, Delta, like um, 11 Labs, these are the companies that this is, is knocking out, right? All of a sudden, those companies are worth a billion dollars less each like overnight right uh and then like uh, it's you're just gonna see that that happen over and over and over again um and then like i already know that if you know that that's going to happen like i mean it doesn't uh, i'm just following the math um and then so uh i know it's gonna happen uh, it just mathematically makes sense um, i'm just waiting for the world to catch up and so if you like the content please like and subscribe thank you very much